we've got ourselves another TikTok ban. Yes, in the year 2024, we are doing this again, my friends. A bipartisan group of House lawmakers who sit on the House Select Committee on the Chinese Communist Party have just released this brand new bill called the Protecting Americans from Foreign Adversary Controlled Applications Act. This bill is relatively short, 12 pages long, and it specifically defines TikTok and its parent company ByteDance as foreign adversary controlled. Now, the bill also gives the president more power to deem other apps as foreign adversary control and therefore subject to the consequences of this legislation. So what's interesting about this bill, the word ban doesn't actually appear anywhere in it. But if you read the bill, that's exactly what it would do. So here's how it works. If this bill gets passed within five months of that date, ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, must divest or sell TikTok to a company the U.S. government determines is not a foreign-controlled adversary. If ByteDance does not divest its interest in TikTok, it would then become illegal to distribute, maintain, or update the app through any app store or any web hosting platform in the United States, which would then effectively ban the app from all users in this country. The fine for any entity that continues to carry the app if ByteDance refuses to sell, is $5,000 per user who has either access, maintained, or updated the app. TikTok just responded to this legislation by saying this bill is an outright ban of TikTok no matter how much the authors try to disguise it. This legislation will trample the First Amendment rights of 170 million Americans and deprive 5 million small businesses of a platform they rely on to grow and create jobs. Now, this is hardly the first time that we've been through this song and dance. A Republican group of lawmakers tried to ban TikTok last year. A bipartisan group of lawmakers tried to do it last year, too. And of course, former President Trump tried to do it repeatedly while he was still in office. All of those attempts have failed. They either failed to get support from the majority of lawmakers in the House and the Senate, or they failed in the courts mostly because of the threat to the First Amendment for the 171 million users in the United States. So it's unclear how or if this bill can pass in such a divided Congress at this point in time. Plus, it's a little problematic that President Biden himself has a TikTok account. That would be a political hurdle to overcome. But if you want to read this legislation, I will email it out to you tonight in my News Girl News Roundup email, so make sure you sign yourself up.